area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Got him, use a dummy. 2020 sniper, it's a rap like a mummy. I've been eating all these beats, man, it's showing in my tummy. Uh, spitting out hits like you spitting out saliva. Always war ready for the action like my guys. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Let it click and blam. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Okay, okay. So let's just get right into it. You got it. A Ward and Av. A Ward and Av. These are actually two of my favorite MCs, you know what I'm saying? Especially out of the upper, newer generation of MCs, you know, guys that wasn't around from the beginning, beginning, but ones that have taken two totally different paths to their stardom, to what they've done. I'll start with Av. Av came in, you know, he battled in the proven grounds. He had none, none. He battled Mike P. He moved on to battle Rum Nitty. You remember the battle Av versus Rum Nitty? I mean, you, a lot of y'all might have forgot it. No, you did not forget it. You know why you ain't forget it? Because it's one of the best small room battles that ever fucking happened. Are you serious? 30 under the 40, that's the improper fraction. Huh? Pointed at the back of the head, that's alfalfa. The, the MOP, your ante up. Like, that was... Come on, y'all y'all, y'all ain't forget that. Y'all niggas ain't forget that, right? I know y'all ain't forget that. Um, One of the craziest battles ever. Um... <sighs> Point six, that's Paxton, bitch. I packed that fifth and beat the foul out you. They pointed at the back of your head. That's alfalfa. Like, that one right there was one of them ones. Av went on to have a lot of big battles. You know, he battled on Summer Madness. He battled versus, uh, he had the joint versus T-Top. He had the shotgun shield. And he just moved on and on and on. He, he was one of the first people that battled Geechee Gotti when it was on his come up. He went to L.A. and battled Geechee Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Av is Av. Now, I will say this. Uh... Av is making some of the moves now that some of the people probably felt like he should have made when he first came in. He's got a caffeine show now. He's continuing to, to, to build his brand and kind of get himself out there because the thing is, when you're on a league, right, like URL, they got 150 fucking artists, right? Might be more. I don't know. What you do with the light is what brings more light to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be able to continue to expand. Like, he's been more vocal in the last six months than probably the last six years. Like, answering the big questions, dealing with the situations as far as, and, and, and I know, you know, he had an unfortunate situation where he was sick for a little minute, but I'm just saying that removed. Bar for bar, when it comes to ass, he's one of them ones. Like, he got bars, he's, he's but people always wanted to know and this is a legitimate question. Was he going to be able to make that next step? He was doing the, he's doing the music. His music is fired. A validated joint. You know what I'm saying? So he's definitely got a lot of potential as he grows. You know what I'm saying? I felt like Av shot up. He did his thing. And then, you know, he had the chess battle. The fucking skip to my Lou. What? That was crazy. The surprise battle. Like, I'm giving a lot of love and admiration to what he's done to earn the spot that he has through the Ultimate Rap League. But see, in the last year or so, the app came out, caffeine is out, and that's stagnating. That's stagnating a lot of artists because their battles are only dropping on the app. Their battles are not being released on YouTube. Like, they got videos on YouTube right now with fucking, the URL's big channel has YouTube videos with like fucking 3,000 views, 5,000 views. So they've drawn the attention away from their YouTube channel and they've focused it all in with caffeine, all in with the app, which is fine. But the thing is, a lot of the general public, like you ask random niggas in the street, a lot of niggas do not have the app. Like, I'm just be honest with you. Niggas don't have it. Like, when you look at the votes on like, in the caffeine battles, it'd be like, 4,000, 5,000 votes to 3,000, like in rounds, like I'm talking about round counts, like round, you never see round counts where it's like 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 votes. That's not happening. So what I'm telling you is it's a smaller, you're a big fish in a small pool because you're subjected to 
only a core audience of battle rap fans who have everything that goes on. A lot of people don't have time to take off on a Saturday to, to, to watch a whole event. I work Saturdays, but you know, I only got about two, three weeks left of work anyway, then I'm gonna retire and it's on fire. So, but a lot of people don't have that opportunity where they can just sit home all Saturday and watch a whole battle rap event. A lot of motherfuckers got kids, a lot of motherfuckers got a lot of shit going on to where they don't have that kind of time. So what I'm saying is, they may miss your battle, and then it's not coming out on YouTube, and they don't have the app. So your whole thing that you just did just flies by a large demographic of people. Now with Award, who has taken a totally different route to stardom, battling on a bunch of leagues, being on King of the Dot, being on Red Breed Entertainment, and all his battles are released on YouTube. Every single one. I don't care what anybody says. There will never be a platform bigger than YouTube. It's just not gonna happen. I don't care what they say. They could say uh, caffeine this, they could say the app this, that shit will never be bigger. You know why? Because YouTube, you can watch whenever you want, and YouTube is free, unless you got YouTube Red to remove the ads, which is a very good product, because like when I'm sitting there with my son, be watching the videos on YouTube, I love the fact that I can just have YouTube Red and I don't have to keep skipping over ad, over ad, over ad. But that's enough about YouTube, and YouTube pays me, and pays me pretty well too. But let's get back to it. So, um, YouTube will never be removed. It doesn't matter, like it's just not gonna happen. Why do you think when battles come out, big battles like Cassidy or Hitman or whoever gets dropped, they still do hundreds of thousands of views? The last battle, I think Kayshawn and Rock got released, and it still did million. They will still, when if these battles get released on YouTube, they will still do big views. And it's not because niggas got the app and they still want to go watch it on YouTube. No, it's a general, it's a big group of people who've never seen it. My brother, so to my Maserati main, he's into battle rap more now than he was. But he don't be knowing like the smaller MCs, like he don't know them because he don't really, like he don't have the app. He'll watch Caffeine, cause you know Caffeine is free. So niggas will watch Caffeine, but niggas is not, there's a lot of niggas who's just not gonna pay $8 a month for the same. Now I will say this, in the last month or so, the app has released more of the, you know, closed quarters and different battles that we haven't seen. But for about a six to eight month period, the only thing that was releasing was shit that we just seen on Caffeine the other day. So it really wasn't even worth paying for. I paid for it because, you know, I'm a support coach, shit, etc. But the app wasn't, wasn't giving you nothing that you wasn't getting on your own. You ain't getting no shows, you ain't getting no, no exclusive battles. You might get a store legacy every now and then, but you could... They're giving you shit that you could live without. I don't care how niggas cut it. You could... They, you, the shit that was coming out is shit that you could live without. Period. But anyway, um... A-War took a totally separate route. I see a lot of the URL MCs, you know, they're saying that A-War needed to do this, A-War needed to do that. A-War's bigger than a lot of y'all. He's bigger than a lot of y'all. I'm on the outside looking in. I don't work for no league, and I ain't never going to. I'm telling you from the outside looking in, he's bigger than a lot of y'all. His, his, his Instagram following is big. His battles do the same views as, well, y'all don't do views no more because he's you know, on YouTube. But he's got the same following. He's got the same love. He's getting the same look. And he's getting bigger names than a lot of y'all. A-Ward is getting bigger names than a lot of the artists on URL. Now, when you look at the top, top names of the newer class, I ain't talking about niggas who've been there forever. I, like, I'm not comparing him to Tay Rock or Sue Surf or none of them. But when I'm looking at people that are in the same time frame, same five year period, Geechee Gotti, bigger name. New Jersey Twerk, even with his ups and his downs and things like that, I'm not here to shit on that man today. He just had a dope, a dope two on two with Jack Boy Main, where he damn near won, where he won a round by himself, literally rapping by himself. That's just how talented he is when he's focused. Um, is a bigger name than Awar, and that's because the machine that 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 cultivates this. But when you look past those two huge names. It's tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Like he's battled, he's look at the names he's battled already. He's already battled uh Ill Will just recently. He's already battled Geechee. They battled in the lunchroom. Um he already battled DNA. He already battled Cortez. He already battled franchise when he first started. He's got Charlie Clips, Ryder, and Fonz in one weekend. He's battling all three of these people in one weekend. He just battled Shotgun Shug and beat Shotgun Shug last week. 
So he just battled Arsenal. Like, he battled Danny Myers, bro. His resume is better than all you niggas. Really, damn near all of y'all. Except for those two, two, two top names. His resume is better than damn near everybody. Now, I get it. Av does not battle as much as, as um as A Ward. He battles maybe six times a year. Av said, if A Ward takes a Born Legacy first, I will battle him immediately after on whatever card that UL books it for. I just want him to respect the platform and the artist over here on the platform. There's no jump in the line. I get it. I do respect his stance in that, saying that you know it's no jump in the line. You know he got to handle his business and things like that. But A Ward, who is the MC that we're talking about, does not respect that. Uh, so, uh, Kennedy Thrill said, Av versus A Ward won't be anywhere on URL, hopefully. And A Ward says, one day, but I don't need a battle before him. He needs a battle before me, saying that, yo, <laughs> I don't need no warm up battle. I don't need no store legacy. You do. You know what I'm saying? And, and here's the thing, right? And I was reading it, you know what I'm saying, off the phone joint, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, sometimes you get it, sometimes you won't. Uh, he's saying that he don't need no warm-up battle. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't need a warm-up battle. Av needs the warm-up battle. Now, do I believe Av needs a warm-up battle? Not so much, you know what I'm saying? And he said that, you know, he needs to handle his business first or whatever the case may be. Um, what I will say is this, you know, both are very talented MCs. And I tweeted this yesterday, and I'll read it to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, what I said about the whole situation in itself. I said, uh... And I quote, you know what I'm saying? You can quote me on this one, you know what I mean? I said, uh, I said, I said, I said, because Chris Unbiased, salute to Chris Unbiased, he put out a poll, he said, whose stock is currently higher, uh, A Ward or Av? Uh, and, you know, 67% said A Ward, 33% um, said Av. I said, both are talented MCs, but A Ward battles are released on YouTubes, and Avs are released on an app that a good percentage of the general public does not have. Also, one battles five times a month and rarely loses. So there are a lot of intangibles, but A-Ward is becoming, became a big name without URL. Like he does not, he's shown, he's broken the mold that he did not need URL to be, to continue to elevate. Now it would be dope to see him over there, but the, but the fact of the matter is, the terms that they wanted, he just was not willing to do. Talking about he needed to battle for free first. He accepted a free battle, the battle didn't happen because Twerk got into a car accident. So, you know, and then when Twerk got out of car accident, he said that wasn't the battle he wanted on his return. Respectfully so, I get it. He didn't want to take A-Ward on the return. But with him not wanting to do that, the stipulation should not have changed for A-Ward to now, just because you didn't do that, now you have to do this. So A-Ward didn't want that battle. Then they offered A-Ward, uh, I think T-Top on a volume, but wanted him to sign a contract. And the thing is, A-Ward's deal is, I got big on all of these leagues. The king of the dots, the RBEs. That's all it is against. It's not nobody else. He can go battle on the riot. He can go battle on Battle Academy and all that other shit. It's the competitors. They don't want him battling on leagues that URL is in direct competition with. Being ARP, RBE, being king of the dots. They don't want to battle over there no more. But what he's saying is the battle, the contract that you're trying to put me in has no guarantees. No guaranteed money, no guaranteed events, no guaranteed nothing. I could literally sit on the shelf for the next two years and not be able to battle because I signed this deal. Now, me personally, I'm a proponent of, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. I'm gonna rap wherever I want, it's my talent. That's just me. I'm never gonna tell the artist what to do as far as their concern is. You do what works for you or what feeds your family. But I know that if you ain't getting booked, you know what I'm saying, when you cooking, they booking. And there's a lot of artists sitting on the shelf that ain't never been on no big stages, ain't never getting no big looks, and it is what it is. We could we could name drop all day if we wanted to. But that's not what we're here to do. So, uh, A Ward then said, of course, just like you know, I don't need a born legacy. They offered me T Top on a volume. Why would you say I can't jump the line? Keep cooking, bro, but I'd love to battle you in Kansas City on the Connects. Salute to the Connects. Maybe they could battle in Kansas City or something like that. But at this point, A Ward does not need a store legacy. That shit is it, it just it's just beyond. I understand that y'all might want him to put in work because you know they got a locker room to protect. That's what I've heard said. They got people that they that that are there that you know if they see a war jump and skip the whole process, of course they're gonna feel some type of way. But there has to be something in place because you I can't get treated like Joe Blow that came through the G League when I won the NCAA championship on my own. You know what I'm saying? Like a has done big enough moves on his own. 
right now, um, Loso debuted versus Scotty on a known stage. Now, I might, I don't think I'm reaching, but I think A Ward is further in his career than Loso was when Loso debuted on Known. Sharon Battle Shotgun Sug. I think A Ward is further in his career than Sharon was at the time. Uh, and anyway, I could go on and on and on with people that, you know, were further along. They've done more. Um, salute to Av. You know, Av's got a battle coming up. Uh, I ain't gonna say, it. I'm gonna just, I, I know who it is, but I ain't gonna say. It. But when you see and hear about it, I'm just going to say he's going to he's going to watch he's going to watch the flow. Uh, you know, it's somebody we ain't seen in a while, and I'm just going to leave it there. But salute to Av, salute to everything that he's got going on. He's got his show on Caffeine now, and I hope that he continues to just continue to build his brand, continue to you know step out there and be more vocal. You've got the talent, you've got the ability. You know, like, you need to be in the ocean. You don't need to be in a fishbowl. You need to continue to build that brand. Continue to demand these names. Make these niggas come outside and battle you. Because what A.W. is doing, it, it ain't really getting stopped no time soon. He's going to continue to take a lot of battles. And the funny thing about it is, he's beating a lot of URL artists, and ain't nobody stopping him. If y'all don't like it, there's only one answer. Stop him. But what y'all think? If they was to battle, what do y'all think? Who would win? Shit like that, et cetera, et cetera. Click and blam. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll be giving out free pay-per-views. I'll probably give out some merchandise. You know, a lot of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Buy the underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Gang! Let's get to the bank. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to the bank. Let's get to the bank. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to the bank. Let's get to the bank. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to the bank. Let's get to the bank. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Money on my mind, my mind on my money, money. Guy who I serve, if you ain't got him, use a dummy. Uh, 2020 sniper, it's a rap like a mummy. I've been eating all these beats, man, it's showing in my tummy. Uh, spitting out hits like you spitting out saliva. Always war ready for the action like my guy.